everyone hope you guys have been doing well I have a quick video over the August stationery selection box um, of course I've already opened the box and made sure everything's in there um, but yeah, let's start the video so, let's take everything out first things first um if you ever have any questions feel free to dm me um and always make sure to email the stationery selection if you have questions for uh, mitts um please make sure to always email and then i will have her contact information down in the description but yes so first thing first on the info sheet uh, let's see what Mitz has to say. July has been uh, full of rain and humidity weather in Tokyo, Japan, but the uh, time indoors has allowed me to get my creative this month. Yes, if you've seen Mitz's um, One Book July, um, all her spreads are really <laughs> so much fun. Um, but we'll start with the first item. It's going to be the Kamido Stick Fusen? Fusen? Fusan? Um, a roll of sticky notes built into a chapstick style case. With its sleek and slim design, you can easily pop it into your pencil case without adding much bulk. The width of the sticky notes can be adjusted to fit your planning needs. Uh, we hope to find some refills and possibly other designs to our online shop. So stay tuned for that. So it's going to be this item. When I pulled this out of the box first, I, I really did think that it gave us um, chapstick and I was like mm, that's, that's interesting <laughs> but quickly I, I read it um, but yes comes out easily it even has like a little wrapper on the side that seals it oh. Oh. interesting and then is it twist? Oh, it just comes out. Oh, whoa. I, I'm scared to pull it out. Oh, so this is an info sheet, it looks like. Is it so pull it out? Yes, there's like an X, but I'm not entirely sure what that means. Hold on, let's see. So you pull this part. Oh, whoa. And it's like super thin. Holy. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the edges of it, it's like a very light blue grid. And then there's borders on top of here that are blue. I don't know if my camera's too old or like picking up too much white, but there it is. And it, it does feel like chapstick because you can, I feel like you can twist this and it comes out, more comes out. Perfect. Ah. <laughs> Next item um, is going to be the Kokio Dot Liner uh, Tape Runner, one of all uh, Mitz's all-time favorite tape runners, but in a slim pen style. Um, this click type tape runner allows you to press quickly and use quickly due to its pen style shape. It can be stored neatly in your pencil case. I, the only experience I have with dot liners is like that one from Daiso that I desperately have to use when Daiso runs out of the regular tape runners I love using. Um, I've seen these online a lot, so I'm curious to test this out in my journal. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. So yes, you click the button and then it ejects outward. Um, and yeah, you can see, just like any other tape runners, I mean, like, you just swipe and then it comes out. Like, tapping the glue, like the tape, it already feels stickier than, like, the Daiso one I've used. So I will be excited to try this out in my journal. And also, I really appreciate, because the other dot liners I've tried, the dots are always like pink or blue or green colored, but this one's just, it looks, they're just clear. So I liked using a lot of transparent 
paper sometimes, so the clear tape is a lot better for these. Amazing. Okay, next item is going to be the Lit Lab Wide Open Zip Pouch. Um, cases will vary. I know there's like white, black, blue, yellow, red, so like primary colors. Um, the f uh, function pencil case made using Japanese canvas called Fujikibai. Kinbai. Um, this pen case holds approximately 20 pens. The fun zipper layout allows the pen case to open wide, making it easier to locate your writing pencils. So I got the blue color, like navy dark blue. Let's pull these off. Okay. So, um, of course, there's zipper, and then there is this, and you can just pop this off. And it should open wide. Um, sorry. Yes, so it opens wide. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yes, see, it opens wide, closes down, lays flat. Um, I'm pretty sure you can hold, as it said, it, you can hold up to 20 pens. And of course, it looks like it's longer to accommodate, like, maybe a small ruler, um, longer pens if you have any. But yeah. In the canvas, it feels a lot different than a lot of canvases I've used. Like it feels better than like tote bag canvases that I have or like the superior labor canvas pouches if you're comparing like the quality. But this, these are really nice. I will definitely be using this next as a pencil pouch because I have a weird addiction to pencil pouches so I like to change them out really often. Um, <laughs> The next item is going to be the Midori Weather Stencil Bookmarks, ultra thin stainless steel 0.1 millimeter bookmark uh, bookmark markers that uh, does not interfere with page turning and writing. Um, the intriguing stained glass design adorn your pages, but also add as a stencil to documents uh, to like document weather in your journal. So if you see, really cute. So like there's like the sun, little stars, there's clouds, raindrops, these are clouds, and this is like winter. I will not be utilizing the winter that often because Texas um, doesn't know what winter is. <laughs> but yeah, these are really thin. Like it, it almost feels like paper. Like look at that. See? They're really small, really thin. They don't add any bulk whatsoever. There we go. Cool. Um, next item is going to be the Mitsubishi Uniball 1.5 millimeter. Um, newly developed Uniball 1 ink uses a new pigment that, unlike general gel inks, um, minimizes the penetration of inks into the paper fibers. This makes your writing a lot more vibrant and easier to see. So I'm guessing, from what it sounds like, you see, it sounds like you also see minimal ghosting, probably. Um, oh my god. It writes really smoothly. There's a clip. Um, but yeah, let's try it on regular paper. I have this notebook that I always use. So we'll do hello. How are you? And then the stationery. S oops. Sele selection. And let's see. 
is there that much ghosting? This paper's rather thin, so. I mean, of course, paper's thin, but it doesn't ghost as much as when I do other stuff. The writing experience is really smooth. And of course, it dries super quickly. Uh, let's try a highlighter on this and see how that reacts to it. Um, this one looks like there's not that much smudging or like, yeah, it doesn't look like it smudges is that often. I'm pretty sure if you use like a smoother paper that it would definitely smudge a lot more, but this one, this paper is a little rougher, so it's of course going to absorb the ink a lot more, but it doesn't, it's, it's not ghosting whatsoever for me on this paper. Yeah, even going through several passes, it didn't really ghost. Yeah, amazing. Uh, I am a big fan of Uniball, um, so I will be using this quite often. And now, for the very last item on our list, it's going to be the Stationery Selection Original Pin. Um, this is, of course, the Stationery Selection's very first pin. Um, we know a lot of people in the planner community enjoy using pins on their pen pouches, so I thought it'd be fun to create a pin from the logo. And of course, here's the pin. Ooh. It's a hard enamel pin. Oops. With a regular butterfly pin backing. I suggest getting pin locks if you want to secure your pins onto your um, pencil pouch. But it is hard enamel. It looks really pretty. It would grow great with this. I am a big fan of pins. I have a lot of pins I collect. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, probably pair these two together. A little tiny. And the pen. And then like this? Nope, too big. <laughs> but yeah, these go together really well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything in the box for um, August. Um, of course, you get the pen, uh, the Hit Lab, or the Lee Hit. Yes, Lee Hit Lab uh, pencil pouch. You get the dot liner. You get the sticky note. Keep doing that. Sticky notes. And of course, you get the Uniball, the Mitsubishi Uniball pen. Of course, you have these little bookmarks and these little clips. Cool. And I'm pretty sure if you want to carry all of them, you put two. They all fit in there nicely. And then. Of course, little pin. Yeah, that's going to be everything in the box. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, DM me on Instagram, and make sure to email mitts at the stationery selection. Um, of course, again, I will have uh, all the information down on um, the description box. But yeah, that's going to be everything, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!